Yankees hosting the Angels. The Angels are plus 210 on the money line. The Yankees are minus 255. The over-under is nine runs. The Angels getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 114, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. Now, this game is in game danger. There's a very good chance that it'll get rained out or delayed. 78 degrees. Uh, degrees, eight mile an hour winds blowing in, and a 66% chance of rain. Daniel did not pitch against the Yankees last year. This year, Gill pitched once against the Angels. This year, eight innings, one run, one earned. They won 2 1. That was in LA. He struck out nine. Head to head, the Angels are six and four, but the Yankees have won the last two. The road team's on a two game winning streak. The home team is seven and three. The favorites won the last two games they played against each other. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is seven and three. There have been five one run games in their last ten. Two out of the last three, or two out of the three that they've played against each other this year. The under is seven and three, and the under nine is seven and three. The Angels are one and three in Daniel's last five starts. A one last four starts five is just a habit of saying they've lost his last three the under is three and one five and a third innings pitched six hits 3.2 runs three of which were earned 4.8 strikeouts 0.5 walks 0.8 home runs 83.2 pitches per game 15.6 pitches per inning for the yankees they are two and three in gill's last five starts the under is three and two Five and a third innings pitched, four hits, two earned runs, 6.6 strikeouts, 1.6 walks, 0.6 home runs. He gave up one in his last start. 91.4 pitches per game, 17.3 pitches per inning. The Angels are four and six in their last 10, but they are on a two-game winning streak. Nine runs, six runs, nine runs, five runs, four runs and a loss, one run and a loss, five runs and a win, three runs in a win. And for the Yankees, seven and three in their last 10, three and one in their last four. 11 runs, 13 runs, 11 runs, 7 runs, 6 runs and a win, 5 runs and a loss, 8 runs and a win, 4 runs and a win. They figured out how to hit again. Yankees with the money line, Yankees laying the runs. I'm going to lean under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.